try to run that far and eat that many calories to keep the weight and the energy and everything else going was nearly impossible. And Vitamix gave us a way to get those calories in a way that I could actually, that tasted great and that, that it's, now, it's now become part of my life. We all know that nutrition and fitness work best when they work in tandem, but how can we prepare our food to give us that competitive edge at the gym, at work, at home? How do we maximize nutrition for optimum performance? I don't know, that could take some more investigation. Why don't we take a look and ask the experts? Vitamix is a fourth generation family business that focuses on one thing, improving the vitality of people's lives by being the best blending equipment company in the world. Founded in 1921 and in the business of blenders since the 1930s, the people at Vitamix are clearly the blending authorities. Every Vitamix machine shipped to nearly 85 countries is built to order right here at Vitamix World Headquarters in Cleveland, Ohio. The precision crafted container, the laser cut blades, and the custom designed motor are all part of the science of the blend. And that blend couldn't be more perfect according to professional chefs worldwide who count on their Vitamix machines for their business and hundreds of thousands of customers who use their Vitamix machines to make healthy eating easier every day. You know, at this point, I think I need to learn more about this Vitamix machine itself. John, you're the chairman and the CEO here at Vitamix, but you're also an, an engineer. In fact, you've been an engineer right here and helped in the development of the machine. Uh, engineering is how critical? Engineering is basically where it all starts with our machine. Our engineering has mostly been focused on performance and durability. Those are what we consider important, and we have over 250 patents to prove it. Well, one of the key things that intrigues the heck out of me is, is, is the whole blade system and how critical and the, and, and the critical mass that you have involved in that and how it perpetuates the whole blending operation. Explain that to me because you've got one. Each one of them is finely tuned. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, uh, everything, everything in the machine is extremely critical to the performance of the machine for the durability and the performance that I was talking about. But the thing that actually comes between the food and the machine is the blades. And Vitamix has done some really phenomenal things with regard to these blades. The, uh, one of the biggest breakthroughs that we had early on is that we came up with a special stainless steel that is hardenable. Food safe stainless steels normally are not hardenable. This particular one is hardenable and we use it on our blades. So that gives us a tough material. It also means that the edges are not going to wear any road nearly as fast as they would otherwise. It means that we can keep the thickness at a, at a uh, level where it doesn't take too much extra horsepower just to force it through the liquid so we're not wasting horsepower. We're using it to process your food. Now you've done engineering internally, you've done research obviously in the test kitchens also internally, but what about ex external research? Have you sent it out? Is, is, is there sort of a, 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 a vetting process that's gone on outside of the company? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, we do it internal. We figure out a way to test it to verify that we're actually breaking the cells. We're getting as fine as we possibly can and so forth. Then we went out, we went out and we sent the uh, machine to test at the University of Toronto who actually verified that we actually are getting down to the, to the cellular level and now releasing the, releasing the nutrition and the flavor. We've conducted some tests at the University of Toronto where we've compared the Vitamix processed fruits and vegetables to the same fruits that have been chewed. Our research indicates that the Vitamix blended uh, particle size uh, is decreased by about ten, tenfold. Uh, now what this means is that the particle size, if it's reduced, actually increases the surface area of the food. And in theory, uh, you should be able to absorb more nutrients from that food. Uh, now, because of the decrease in particle size and the ease of the Vitamix blender in uh, blending fruits and vegetables, uh, the Vitamix blending is a good way for people who are on the run to get more fruits and vegetables uh, into their diets. Dr. Paul Longevin was with Charlie and Marshall, who ran from San Francisco to New York City in Running America. Doctor, tell us a little bit about how Vitamix blended meals helped them achieve their goal. We kind of joke about training for an ultra marathon. You're not just training to run. You're training to run, eat, and drink. So you're actually training for three events. Vitamix can help a lot just um, because when, when you're trying to achieve a physical goal, nutrients is very important and 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 vitamix really can can help people attain their goals not only during a run but also uh, before a run during the training phase um, and also in recovery 
it has a very powerful motor and it really pulverizes different foods whether it's whether it's grains or um, greens or just mixing um, uh, shakes and, 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 and really mixing up the food really well. I like to see what the human body can do at push to the extreme. Many people thought man wasn't made to run. I don't believe that at all. Um, man was made to run. He's made to run for a long time and that's just the way we're built. I always say fitness they partner with nutrition. That's like so important, especially when you take such an elite athlete as a marathon runner. You know, they've trained and trained and trained for this event. First of all, their mindset and their attitude is there. But it's not only that day, Mike, they have trained so far out. And it's not only what they're doing, but how they have fed their body prior to this to, to get it to this point. Because obviously a marathon runner, it's about strength, it's about endurance. So their body has got to be fed accordingly. So does the Vitamix do that for me? Oh my gosh, absolutely. If you're feeding your body the right foods, guess what? Your performance, your level of performance, it's gonna go up. I encourage my clients to use it. It is easy. I have burned out <laughs> blenders in the past. This machine is like the dynamo of machines. Vitamix blended drinks provided the ultra marathoners in Running America with the energy and nutrition their bodies needed to persevere and repair during their incredible journey from San Francisco to New York City. And research from the University of Toronto has proven that there is a scientific basis for the increased nutrition found in Vitamix meals. That's good to know, but one thing I still need to find out is just how these healthy Vitamix concoctions actually taste. Huh. We have grapes, that's okay. Orange, hmm, pineapple, spinach. I don't know, Wendy, that looks like a green smoothie to me. You bet it does, but you're going to love it. That's what they say. Yes, yes. Each one of those plays into something I need. Is that yes, what happens? Absolutely. We are going to, uh, well, I'm going to add a little water. Okay. I mean, we all need that. We sure. have to stay hydrated. The pineapple in with the core. And then I'm going to put some vitamin C. We all know what this is. Grapes, well, we all love those. But spinach, and I'm, is it going to taste like spinach? Is you it... won't believe that you will not taste one bit of it. You will taste nothing but the smoothest, creamiest, most fabulous drink you've ever had. Well, I'll give you this so far. It's green. It is. But now we're about to find out that it is delicious. All right. Let's, let's see what it tastes like. Boy, that's good. Seriously good. I mean, that is good, good. And there's no, I mean, you know, the whole spinach idea. I mean, there's no, it doesn't taste like spinach. It I mean, it's sweet. It's good. Which brings us right back to nutrition. Now, I understand that the founder of Vitamix was actually a pioneer in whole food nutrition, which is the reason that we're here with Jody Berg, who is the president of Vitamix. Now, Jody, this was your great-grandfather who started this. Yes, it was. Great-grandfather who we called Papa Barnard, started the company in 1921. And left quite a legacy. I mean, it was more than just start and then stop. I mean, it has carried through through the years. It's not only carried through, but it just continues to grow and expand. But it really got exciting in the 1930s when he came across the blending equipment. And what he realized is you could use blending equipment to increase the number of and variety of delicious meals that you could eat that were healthy. I have to tell you that one of the, uh, I should be so lucky to have this video in my family, but the, the, the shots of, of, of your great grandfather in that, I guess, first infomercial were yes. remarkable. I'm going to put in, ladies and gentlemen, the finest fruit. Oh, how the God of heaven loved America when he placed in our soil the elements that grow the old apple tree. That old tree goes down in the soil of old Ohio. He was talking about whole food nutrition back in the 1930s, and then when they filmed the infomercial in 1949. He talks about the whole apple and how the apple, the seeds and the skin and everything about it is full of phytonutrients, and that's what you need in your diet. He was 60 years ahead of his time. What's in this one? Although Spinach, I can see. Spinach, bananas, peaches, strawberries, almonds, orange, orange juice. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. The fellas in Running America 
may be a clear example of the of the dedication that people have to the machines. In an extreme case, albeit. I mean, they look at the distance they ran. They used the machine every day. It helped them get as far as as they got. But you have a lot of fans that are in that same sort of vein, that sort of fanatical stick mm -hmm. with it, and you encourage that. Well, they're extreme in the sense that they ran across America, but they're not extreme in the sense that they use their Vitamix several times a day. We have hundreds of thousands of people that use the machine several times a day for anything from smoothies to soup to salsa to hummus, all, all sorts of different combinations. Now, I guess you have to uh, sort of, if you're going to talk the talk, you have to walk the walk, and that's what the people who work here certainly do, because they have a, they're almost as much of raving fans, or maybe even more so because they work here, uh, of the machine itself. And you encourage that. We do. We try to encourage it. As new employees, after they've been here for a little while, they get their own machine. And we have break areas throughout the company, and we put a Vitamix in each of those break areas. So instead of bringing in the traditional lunch, employees will bring in with a big bag of vegetables or fruit. And they're making smoothies or hot soup, hummus, salsa, you name it. And we're always making something delicious and, and healthy in the Vitamix. And you, may, you help them make that connection between, I guess, nutrition and fitness. I mean, it's lost it sometimes. Sometimes it's one or the other. But here, they can get both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they can. We have um, just a few of the areas. We have a lot of programs where we sponsor speakers to come in and talk about whole food nutrition and talk about health and talk about what they can do to change their lifestyle. But we also have a, a walking trail around the facility, and we have a gym. Well, you suppose anybody's down there working out? Oh, you want to find out? Let's go. Let's, let's go. take a look. See if they're sweating on the job like <laughs> they should be. Well, right now I'm training actually for the Cleveland Marathon, which is in May. Um, I try to do one or two marathons a year. And in the summer, I usually do a triathlon. It's a half Ironman triathlon. That's only 70.3 miles. So it's swimming, bike riding, and then a half marathon at the end. I feel like there's a difference in the year that I've been here that my time's improved. I, I can tell you that my personal record is improved in running. So I think a lot has to do with my, I was a healthy eater before, but boy, we've really upped the notch. Having a Vitamix is definitely a big convenience because um, I used to spend five, six dollars a pop on uh, on getting a smoothie at my local mall or uh, local store, and uh, you know now I can have one whenever I want, and it's a fraction of the cost. And so it all blends together very well: customers and employees, fitness and nutrition, high endurance athletes, and people who just want to be their personal best. It's clear that no matter what your fitness goals, providing your body with the best possible fuel gives you a competitive edge. So now it's time to ask yourself, what are you running on?